this is the TP-Link Omada ER605. So what I want to do here is I want to use this device to give me two separate networks, LAN 1 and LAN 2. So what I want to have is the internet on WAN port number 1. I want to have a work network on ports 2 and 3 that we will call LAN 1. And I want to have a second distinct separate uh, LAN on port 4 and 5 for our guest Wi-Fi. We're going to use the default IP address for LAN 1, which is 192.168.0.1/24, and then we're going to use a separate network address of 172.168.0.1/24 for LAN 2, and this is how we configure that. Signed into the TP Link Omada ER605, and this is the page that we have. So I have upgraded the firmware, so this is the version of the firmware that we're running. And what I want to do is I now want to create our two LANs, one for work network and one for guest Wi-Fi. So I start off by clicking network here and clicking LAN here. So you'll see that the default LAN is still there. It's called LAN, it has VLAN ID 1. So what I want to do is I want to call that LAN 1 just so we can distinguish it from LAN 2. So I click here to edit. I just put a 1 on the end there. As you'll see, it's got a default IP address of 192.168.0.1, which is fine for our network. It's got a default DHCP server as well. So you just want to be careful if you're introducing to a network that already has a DHCP server. And we click OK here to finalize that change that I made to the name. So that's the first network is set up. So we want to add our second network here. So I click Add. And the name we give it is LAN2. The IP address range we're going to set is 172.16.0.1 for uh, this device and it's going to be on Southern Mask 255.255.255.0 and we're not going to use VLANs on this um, we're going to use the traffic untagged but you can set a VLAN ID here of 2. It won't let you get past this without setting a VLAN ID so you have to set that here. With DHCP, we have the option to turn DHCP off. We don't need it. I'm going to need it on this one. So we're going to set it up with a range of 172.16.0.50, 172.16.0.100. So we're going to save that. And that is our second network that we're going to be using for our Wi-Fi. So with our two networks defined, we now need to choose which ports on the switch are assigned to which networks. So we do that through the VLAN section here. So you'll now see in our VLAN list, we have a list of our three different networks. So this is LAN 1, this is LAN 2, which I've just created, and then the WAN port. So what I want to do here is I want to have two and three that are untagged for LAN 1, and four and five that are untagged for LAN 2. So let's do that. So I'm going to click here to edit. LAN 1, and we're going to remove its connection to here, 4 and 5. So right now, anybody that plugs in to 2 or 3 is untagged and connected to LAN 1. And the second thing I need to do here is I need to configure LAN 2. So we're going to configure it here by clicking on this button. And what we want to do is we want to have it no association with LAN 2 and ports 2 and 3 because they're all associated with LAN 1. And we want to have these untagged. And click OK. So just to clarify on our setup now, if you plug a device into either ports 2 or 3, they will be assigned an IP address on the range that's associated with LAN 1, which is 192.168.0.0/24. So we have a DHCP range assigned in that. If you plug into ports 2 or 3, you'll get an IP address assigned in that range. We have assigned ports 4 and 5 to LAN 2. So if you plug a device into that, you will get a DHCP assigned address out of the range 172.16.0.50 to 100. And that is what we will be using for our wireless network. And just this one here, just to clarify that port one is by default the WAN port. I haven't done anything to this, but this is the default WAN port on the device, which is port number one.